For the next few minutes, I will discuss the tools used in creating hand sketches and manual drawings. While the hieroglyphics and petroglyphs of old were often not drawn on flat surfaces, today's artists, engineers, and draftsmen generally choose a drawing board. As seen here, there are many different styles. Some can fit in a backpack, while others hold very large sheets of paper. Some can be purchased for less than $100 while others cost many hundreds of dollars. Truth be known, any flat, sturdy surface will work just fine. Next, one must have paper to sketch and draw on. Art pads come in all sizes and paper quality. For doing orthographic engineering sketches or drawings, one can choose grid or engineering paper or for doing high quality manual engineering drawings, one should choose vellum paper or for ink drawings, mylar paper. If you are doing isometric or perspective sketches or drawings, then you should decide to use paper with one of these grid types. For mechanical sketches and drawings, I recommend that you have a 0.7 and a 0.5 millimeter mechanical pencil. You should have for these pencils a range of lead hardnesses ranging from 2H to HB. If you are doing art sketches, then I would recommend a set of drawing pencils that range from 8B to 6H. Having a good pencil sharpener is also crucial for the softer leads. Quality erasing is as important as the quality lines left behind. I find soft erasers more useful than hard brittle ones. When erasing close to lines I intend to keep, then I use an eraser shield. Engineering scales, also called rulers, are a very useful sketch tool. You can use them to take measurements or to scale dimensions up or down in size. I personally prefer the small six inch metal scale over the plastic or wood versions. T-squares are useful in establishing and maintaining the horizon or horizontal lines of any sketch or drawing. Here I show an image found in the Bertolini textbook that illustrates how a 3060 right triangle and or a 4545 right triangle together or in combination with a T-square to generate many other angles. When other angles are needed, one can invest in an adjustable triangle or simply purchase a protractor. Many drawing templates are available for purchase. Here are just a few. I personally survived my undergraduate program with only a cir circle template. You should also be aware that many different types of curve templates exist. The most common are referred to as French curves. Again, I purchased only one similar to those shown in the lower left corner. If you are going to become a serious sketcher, then I would recommend that you consider a flexible spline like what is shown in the upper right image. The next tool or set of tools can be quite costly depending on what quality you go for. Again, I would only recommend a compass set to those who are very serious about mastering manual drawings and sketches. Two other considerations for the serious student are the drawing pens that come in a variety of widths and the Leroy lettering set. Designers and engineers that have the ability to create elegant hand sketches and drawings like da Vinci during the Renaissance are in very high demand today. 
Here are a couple of modern day Renaissance men. Visit Dwayne Vance's website to see some amazing sketches. Or visit the Isopod design website to see other really cool design sketches. For doing manual sketching and drawings related to this lecture series, you should have as a minimum the following. A surface to work on, some pencils of different hardness, a straight edge, a way to erase, a way to measure, and of course, paper to draw on. Collect these things and begin sketching and drawing as soon as possible. Thank you.